What's up y'all, Ray here, and I wanna show y'all something that's super quick, super easy to do whenever you're using different types of materials, different types of wood, uh, different thicknesses of materials uh, on your Monfort K40 and to figure out the exact settings you need, uh, the exact power, the speed, and everything like that. It's a really easy uh, test that you can do that is integrated on Lightburn, so no downloading anything from anywhere. You just a couple clicks and you can get there really simple and easy on your PC in the Lightburn software. So let's go check that out real quick. All right, y'all, so looking here at the Lightburn software, it's super simple, super easy to do. A lot of people will go here, look for different files, watch videos and teach them how to make the different things and set it all up. But Lightburn makes it super easy to do uh, the exact opposite. Sorry, I got mosquito hawks in here. Uh, all you do is go to laser tools, click material test, and then you can see everything is preset right here. And you can edit any of these things if you wanna change the, the number of counts uh, to add an extra row or whatever. But a good um, rule of thumb is to just go with what they have and you see it's gonna have 10. So it's gonna have 10 rows, 10 columns of different uh, speeds and power settings. The minimum is gonna be 600 and then you can set your max maximum right here you got your minimum which is 10 your maximum which is 100 and then your height of the actual squares are going to be five millimeter by five millimeters and then it shows the sensor which is 100 by 150 and it's really easy to do something like this after you have your material in there which i already have material in there i'm going to start everything up and i'm going to come over here and click start and then let it run and then i'm going to be able to use it for different materials to uh, see exactly what settings work best for cutting for different things like that uh it's yeah it's really simple and you can even edit, edit a lot of your different uh material uh, what is this called i'm blanking out right here you can edit the settings a little more fine-tuned here and so you can change the different speeds the max power number of passes offset all that different things and then uh, for your other settings so this is the actual uh, fill if you want to make it where it fills or if it doesn't uh, if it just has like a line there and then change the power and everything like that so um, i like the settings where i have them for uh for what i'm doing and so i'm gonna get everything set up i'm gonna hit start uh, it's really easy. You can start, pause, frame it, preview, all the different things. So this is exactly what it's going to look like. You can see at 600, it's going to do 10. At 20, it's going to do 25, 33, and so on and so forth. And it just shows you everything right there. And so then from here, you can see, you can click it and it's going to show you this. It's going to go through the power Then it's going to do the first row and then it's going to do the next row. So uh, yeah, so you can just see this is exactly what it's going to do and the actual path it takes, which is really nice and different settings and this is the grid it's going to show you and everything so let's go over to the machine and let's get let's get to cutting all right y'all so there you have it as you can see all the different settings are laid out right here so now i know exactly what I need for this material. This is actually, I think, five millimeter uh, birch plywood. So I can tell that, you know, if I'm gonna do something like a little bit like cutting, I may wanna go a little bit higher like this. Um, I do need to mess with my settings a little bit because uh, realistically at this point, with this speed and with this power, I uh, should have cut through here. But I mean, now I know that I can run this test again and do it again and uh, get something a little more uh, effective. But I also did do it on a couple other materials here. So on two mil, you can see it did cut really well through the end right there. Uh, you can see at these other settings with my settings currently, it doesn't do anything realistically, but it does cut at these different settings. Uh, these would probably be a little bit better for engraving and stuff like that. So like uh, 50 and 600 would be a really good one. Uh, this is uh, some burl right here. So you can see the same thing, but since it is thicker, uh, it does kind of mess with the focus. So you can tell that I will need to raise or lower my bed there. And then whenever I get into things like uh, three quarter inch, uh, or this is a little over half inch, I want to say, uh, uh, red oak plywood it really just messes with the settings and they get really funky so yeah uh, so yeah you can see that it does have a, a good range where i can use a lot of different materials and make it super simple and easy so right now i can write uh, on this on the back or something like two millimeter uh birch plywood and i know exactly what it is and then i can write on here five millimeters so now i know okay what do i need to cut this at uh where's my test material oh here it is you know okay now i need to know these are the settings i need to set it to uh to cut out this and make um, a little display or a little diorama or whatever so so yeah thanks for watching guys i will put all the links down below for uh, my social media and different ways to get connected with us uh, also use uh, raymond6 for six percent off at momport.com uh, for your order 
And uh, yeah, subscribe, click the like button, the bell notification, all the different things to support us. Uh, go check out Monport and all of their lasers. This is the 40 watt, uh, K40 is what it's called. Uh, they also have, um, I think it's like 60, 80, 100, and all these different lasers that are all solid machines. I haven't tested them out yet, but all the things I've seen, they are amazing machines. So thanks for watching guys, and we will see y'all in the next one.